Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just walking up the drive of Nuffield Place in Oxfordshire. This is a National Trust property where Lord and Lady Nuffield lived. And Lord Nuffield started off life as William Morris, not to be confused with William Morris, who designed wallpaper, etc., whose works as great as they are you'll find in many other national trust houses you won't find any of that William Morris's works at this one this is William Morris who designed the Morris cars this is the house Nuffield place it was built in 1914 now what I've done is I'm gonna take you round the gardens because I'm not gonna film inside I've taken some pictures which I'll post online afterwards so I thought I'd do is the house there that's the entrance that room over there is the billiard room I'm going to take you in the rain around the gardens so William Morris he left school at 15 and um, he worked as an apprentice um, at a factory making bicycles and he wanted a pay rise and they said no so he said all right fine I'll, I'll start my own company so he started his own company making bicycles and then that moved on to making cars as Morris's as you'll know so he went on to make Morris Miners, Morris Travellers the classic cars you'll see and um, he eventually came to live in this wonderful house, Nuffield Place. So it was built in 1914. It's a arts and crafts house. It b was um, given to the National Trust in 2011, so it's quite a recent um, one to be acquired by the National Trust. There's quite a few people here today. Most of them are in the house. Most of them aren't, as you can imagine, wanting to walk around in the rain. But can it, it is quite... Um, quite an interesting one you may have seen some of my other videos I um, more recently I went to Goddard's in York the home of Noel Terry it reminds me of that because it's a similar era so I'm just going to take you around the grounds and I'm going to tell you a bit more about William Morris who later became Lord Nuffield we're just going to walk through these rhododendrons it looks like they've just dropped their flowers I follow this park And if we go up here, which I've taken you through the path through the rhododendrons, up here at the back of the lawn, you can see the rest of the house. So it's a, it's a lovely arts and crafts house. As I said, it was built in 1914, but it has had various additions, such as the billiard room, like I mentioned earlier. The rain's really getting heavier now, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to take you round the woods because look at this these bluebells really do look nice this is a really nice carpet of bluebells and beech trees or oh, the beech trees are above us and the bluebells are down here I really yeah I really like the bluebells at this time of year they, they really do look nice so um Lord Nuffield with his Morrises etc as you may know Morris had a factory in Oxford and they still to this day they still build the BMW minis in Oxford which is a development from those early days now the scholars of Oxford University they didn't like him coming into Oxford and setting up industry they wanted to keep it this you know um, elitist university city that it once was they didn't want industry and people coming commuting into Oxford to work and so they said you're not having any buses you know your workers it's not our problem but they're not coming in by buses they wouldn't allow it so he found a way around that what he did was he got loads of buses bought a load of buses and ran a free service and they couldn't stop him because he was running a free service he wasn't making money out of it and then of course the people realized they couldn't live without the bus service, so it went to the city council and they kept the buses in Oxford. Um, 
So it appears really Oxford University, they wanted his money, but very much on their terms. They didn't like him, but William Morris or Lord Nuffield. Oh, look, there's a, someone's mate, an owl. It's quite nice, an owl in the woods of the Bluebells. They didn't really like him much, and they kind of took the money, but it was very much on their terms. But he really was a very generous man. He was a philanthropist. He donated a lot of money. He made sure he wanted every hospital to have an iron lung. Now, I don't know too much about iron lungs, but they have got one on display here. So if you do come and visit, it's one of the things you'll be able to see. Oh, look, there's a helicopter. I don't know if you can see that. It's flying over. Could possibly be a military helicopter because there's a few military bases in this area. So I'm just going to walk back towards the house. So he's yeah, he really had some despite his wealth, he had quite a humble house. He didn't have a huge, you know, mansion. He just had this well, rather nice arts and crafts country house. So I I, I think it's quite a, I'd be quite happy living somewhere like this. I'm just gonna take you. There's one thing, as I said, it's to, with Morris's, there's one thing couldn't come here without showing you so I'm just gonna walk down beside the house in there is the tea room people are sitting in there having tea which is probably much more sensible than walking around in the rain making videos but so now we're back to the front of the house where the drive we started at is over there there's the shop up there which so there's the um, some nice tulips so we're now going back out this way. So the woods are over there. There's a couple more things I wanted to show you before I finish. So this is one of the smaller National Trust properties. Although it is in the country, it's not an urban one, but the estate is about nine acres. Um, there's a college next door. Or oh, no, there was a college. I believe now there's no college here. There's There's a retirement home next door and just over there you wouldn't know but there's actually a prison so it's um quite an interesting area so i'm now in the kitchen gardens let's just have a look this is the old potting shed look all the terracotta pots and a few old lawnmowers so what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you a couple more things now i mentioned the iron lung now i don't know too much about um medical things to be honest i know that william morris did at one point wish to become a doctor but that didn't happen but i know he um helped develop the iron lungs so here we have one here so i believe you lay in there your head stuck out and i really don't quite know how it worked but this is what it is there's a picture of one there so this is an iron lung so as again, apologies, I don't know too much about how iron lungs work, but I just thought it was worth showing you. Now, there's one other thing, as I said, I've got, I can't end without showing this to you. It's William Morris, the home of Morris Cars. So I expect you're thinking, as I'm walking beside a garage, that I'm going to show you a Morris car. That makes sense. Well, what I have to show you is a classic car but it's not a Morris it's a Wolsey this was Lady Nuffield's car I believe so yeah it's a Wolsey not a Morris I'm, you know I thought it would be a Morris but no it's um if you look on the walls there's more history about how he went from bicycles to cars Morris's there's a yeah, famous Morris Minor. Because it says one one careful lady owner. That lady owner was Lady Nuffield. So this is her car in the garage. So we we'll just take one more look outside. You can see the rain's got heavier. So from Nuffield Place in Oxfordshire, thank you very much for watching. If you are in Oxfordshire, this is situated between Henley on Thames and Wallingford. It really is worth coming up here 
to see this property Nuffield Place. I believe it's open every day until about November, so do come and visit. Preferably come on a bit of a nicer day. You can enjoy the grounds a bit more, but I've still enjoyed them in the rain. So, it, but it really is worth coming to see, even in the rain. The house is worth visiting, and I'm going to put some pictures up after this video so you can see some pictures of the interior of the house. So, thank you very much for watching me from Nuffield Place. Goodbye. <laughs>